Hi guys, it's uh, Tim from Cradlows, and today we're going to make some hand sanitizer. <laughs> Welcome back, and it's uh, Tim from Crowdlays, and I make videos about uh, Corel Draw, Illustrator, uh, Inkscape, and OpenSCAD, uh, mainly focusing on uh, making files for uh, laser engraving, sublimation, and even 3D printing. So today, I hope all you guys are staying at home, uh, and uh, what we've been doing is looking at the website on uh, the World Health Organization about uh, what's happening with the coronavirus at the moment. So if we move over here, we've got this uh, chart up that shows you all the confirmed cases we have here worldwide. And here in Australia, we've got over 4,500 people uh, being confirmed cases, which is uh, pretty terrible at the moment. You can see the graph down here is all really increasing a lot every day, but hopefully this little bit here where it's shown is dropping down means everyone's shutting down everywhere worldwide, so hopefully that helps it because when we communicate cumulative cases here, they're just skyrocketing, going out of hand. So um, what we want to try and do today is we're going to try and make some hand, wipe, hand sanitizer to hopefully um, help people to be able to stay a little bit cleaner. So, so stay until the end uh, for us to show you how it all turns out. So here we go, we've got the, uh, the guide to local production of um, hand formulations on uh, the World Health Organization website. Um, so what we can start doing is, uh, we go to our guide here and what we've got is um, our ingredients here of what we need to be able to make small volume production here. So um, we don't have any ethanol or anything like that here. So what we've got at home is some isopropyl alcohol, hydrogen peroxide and uh, glycerol. So obviously we just need to sterilize our bottles and things like that for um, making up the formula. Um, and these are the different containers that they recommend using and things. Uh, so what we need to do is we're taking these measurements that we need. Um, so we've got down here, I think somewhere's got the measurements. So this here is it for making a 10 litre preparation here. Um, so in our 10 litre preparation, uh, we're gonna need this, these amounts of liquid. So what we'll do is we'll go over here, we'll make a, a uh, spreadsheet and I've already gone ahead and started it all here. So in our spreadsheet, we've put in the amount and an amount off the whose uh, recommendations, which are these values here, which if you look over here, they're the 7515, 417, 7515, 417 like this. So that ends up making that amount and that'll make up to the 10 liters if you add water and stuff with it. So um, what I've ended up doing is taking a percentage um, of just dividing the total amount by this amount so then that way you can work out how much of a percentage of this amount that there is and then I've used um, I've got my little bottle that I have here which is just a small little bottle like this one here it's only a 60 mil bottle so because it's only a 60 mil bottle I've typed in 60 and um, divided that 60 um, so you can see which ones it is so there we go so divide the 60 by the percentage amount and it gives me how much I need for each one. So I've used these measurements to do 55, three mil and one mil to be able to make our mixes. And um, so we just go ahead and we make the mix. So we've got the uh, 55 mil alcohol. We've got the three mil peroxide. one mil glycerol. And there we have it. We now have our hand wash. So we just got to uh, leave it for 72 hours. So when you do it, immediately divide them all up into the little bottles and leave the bottles in quarantine for 72 hours. This allows any spores present in the alcohol uh, to be destroyed. So it just, it just helps to destroy any germs that are currently in the bottles. But if you keep them clean enough, they be, should be fine. Okay, so please comment as we always uh, check these and we offer help and tips. Um, we can also make new videos based on um, 
anywhere that you're having trouble and uh, please comment as you may actually be uh, credited in our next video for helping us make a, a new video. Uh, so please remember to subscribe, uh, hit that bell icon down there and um, just to make sure that we're going to be uh, updated with the latest videos from us. Um, so um, our next tutorial may be the help that you need. So uh, stay happy and keep making.